you know, at, specific to percussionists, there's a lot of work and a lot of opportunity because you have, just like you said, all these songwriters and artists who are playing these acoustic gigs. Really because they can't afford or it's not worth it to put a band together or for whatever reason. And so there's a really big void there and a need for percussionists to be able to come in and keep some time because it just makes the show a lot better and more entertaining uh, to have a songwriter playing on stage, but then there's somebody playing some grooves underneath it or an auxiliary dobro player, maybe playing some solos or something and just kind of sweeten it up. And for the songwriters, it makes their song stick out a little bit more than the average singer-songwriter night. Uh, as far as where to go do that, uh, throughout the year and throughout the years, there's been a variety of clubs that have hosted live jams. I honestly can't tell you where one is this week, but the Nashville scene or the Metro Mix or online, there's plenty of opportunities, uh, maybe even uh, your publication. Uh, talks about where the actual, you know, open jams are. Um, but really, I think, uh, I, I don't know, I just think that you could probably go to any songwriter night and start, you know, meeting some songwriters and offer them to come play. And uh, maybe offer them to come play a couple of times for free. Uh, I can tell you I do a lot of free gigs in town, and I've been in town for nine and a half years. Uh, but maybe that's a good place to start. Well, you know, I... Um, <laughs> Uh, there's a girl who used to live two doors down from me at my condo. She was a radio promotions rep for Mercury Records when James Otto was on Mercury Records. Uh, he needed a percussionist. He got the gig opening up for Shania Twain. They needed a percussionist. She happened to be on radio tour at the time when he got the call. Said, hey, my neighbor's a percussionist. I don't know if he's any good, but I see him loading gear like every day into his car. So he came out and saw me play actually with the salsa band at an old jazz club that was around. And uh, I got the gig. Uh, and all of a sudden, this guy from Birmingham, Alabama is playing, you know, 15,000 seat arenas um, all through that relationship. Um, now, I could have given you five other percussionist names who could have done the gig great, Some, probably better than I could have done the gig. But I had the relationship with somebody at the label that was able to help me get that gig. With James Slater, uh, I met James Slater at a Hispanic Chamber of Commerce event at the Belcourt Theater. Uh, seven years ago or so. A few months after I met him, he had tracked my number down with a, from a mutual friend who we met, called me and said, hey, I'm playing tonight. It was a Saturday. said, I'm playing at 12th and Porter, opening up for Marcus Humming. You should come out and come bring your drums and play. That's, that's the first time I played with James, and I've played with him every time he's played in town ever since. So, uh, it, again, that relationship, being there, developing it, you know, but at the same time, um, I, I wanted to get to know James, so we had a great conversation about Latin music in Nashville and things. So uh, I guess that stuck in his head, and when he thought about it, he, he called me. Yeah. Well, and I can honestly say that when I moved to this town, I knew one person, uh, and I've been able to see it just go and go and snowball and snowball. And then you, after the years, you start to lose track, but I remember being on the phone with my dad on the way to a gig or on the, something would happen, and I'd be like, man... You know, I, I met this person, they introduced me to this person, and then I was playing with this person, and this person heard me and hired me for this. Well, now I'm in this studio with so-and-so. You know, and it's just that happening organically. Again, I think focusing on the relationship and on doing what you do extremely well and at a high, consistent level, and uh, just watching this thing snowball.